All right, now that the crate was cut open, my wife grabbed this strap and I grabbed this strap and we lifted it right out of the box onto the counter. And that was pretty easy. So it's not terribly heavy, it's just bulky, so it takes two people. So let's get this plastic off of it. All right, got plenty of foam in here. Looks very well packed. So just pull them out piece by piece. That's not just foam. Sound exhaust pressure duct. We have a little box of goodies. Let me continue with the foam. Well, I see a little uh, water reservoir over here to the left side for the chiller. These are actually pretty uh, thicker belts than I expected. Nice linear rails, cable chain. Yeah, looking pretty good. All right, uh, light burn camera. Don't know if it's supposed to be there or centered. I guess we'll find out. It looks like it might have moved. I'm not sure. Make sure you can see that. Camera's over here off center. Looks like it should be right there, especially since this looks like it's peeled off. So I bet it's just moved during chipping. Probably just need to move that over. So before I peel the plastic off this, we'll use it as a table. And this is a four inch inline fan, which I will not use, but, well, at least at this point, but they are handy to have. Nice, cool white one. Control is just straight on off. And now let's take a look in the box. First, we have a power cord. We have a hex key set, a USB drive, USB cable, ethernet cable, our user's manual, a direct USB cable, mail to mail, and three exhaust clamps, some extra fuses, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll find out. Some Q-tips for lens cleaning. It looks like maybe a little focal gauge. I think the focal distance is five millimeters and it does have autofocus. All right, we do have an owner's manual in English. Too much in there. Let's see, installation overview. Unpacking, exhaust system. If you can see, there's a lot of words with no spaces in between. I can still pick them out. Open the cover and confirm that the plastic tank to the right side of your main bay is full. And it does have a pass-through. There's a skinny pass-through area there this bottom does slide out uh, the laser nozzle with autofocus there you see the rails and let's see right in there is the little coolant tank you'll see the lid of it to the top left overall pretty simple all right now let's make it look a little more presentable you peel off this plastic Nice and clean and shiny. Danger, fire hazard. Do not leave machine unattended during use. Use extreme caution. Yada, yada, yada. I'll hit that with the heat gun and get that glue off. So we don't need that sticker. We know better than to leave the machine on and unattended while engraving. You also know to keep a fire extinguisher and a fire blanket handy too. 
fire extinguisher, fire blanket. Yes, and I can now see this did indeed come unstuck. Fix it back into proper position there. All right, luckily I already have exhaust brand over here because I knew that I would eventually have a laser over here. So let's get this attached to the blast gate. I love the thumb screws on these clamps. I'll put a link in the description. You can get them on Amazon cheap. All right, blast gate's open. That's there. And we can put this on the flange on the back. Come on. There we go. All right, I just stuck my finger in the coolant jug there. There is indeed coolant. We can now turn it on. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. That sound was the pump. It was having trouble getting the coolant started. So I just kind of massaged the line a couple times and, and then it started pumping. And it's really weird hearing that liquid flowing through the tube. All right, she started up. Let's see if Lightburn recognized it. Thank you for sticking around, folks, and watching that unboxing. It appears to be a nice little desktop laser engraver, 55 watts, built-in chiller, built-in fan. It comes with a fan. Um, autofocus, what's not to like? But we're going to test that out in a live stream. So hit that bell so that you know when I go live and we put this thing through its paces and see if it can do what it's advertised to do. Thank you to my channel members and patrons. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for everybody watching. I appreciate you as well. And most importantly, folks, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.